whether or not it was just against you or against anybody the policy or the steps advised or the steps recommended commanded even by Jesus are obligatory later in verse 21 Peter would make it more specific but that will be for next Sunday what if my brother sins against me and comes to ask for forgiveness? How many times will I forgive? That time it becomes more specific, but that will be for another day. If your brother or your sister does anything wrong, whether against you or against anybody, against the society, against the Nigerian community, against the church, against the parish, anything, but you have noticed it. Jesus says, go and talk it out with them, just be, the two of you, in private. Just the two of you. Now, very often, you know, maybe, I will I had like the show. No, I'm not in the show. I'm in the show. I'm going to get a prize. We sow it as a seed in our hearts, and other vices we have will help that seed serve as manure for the seed that will germinate as bitterness. And may eventually explode as violence. Either the violence of physical attack or the violence of calumny and slander. Nkuto. Jesus says, no, take it easy. One step at a time. Go to that person. Dine unye. Husband and wife. Brothers and sisters. Fathers and their mother, mother, fathers, mothers and their children. Pay closer attention to this. If you don't talk things over, they will eventually grow out of proportion. When the they file wrongdoings. And they will never tell you. When they will tell you will be when there will be a problem or a quarrel. And once somebody is talking out of a, a quarrel or anger, the Discussion will never be objective. That is why it is important. And Paul tells us, do not even the, let the sun set with something you have perceived as wrongdoing. Go and talk it over. This is the first step of winning your brother or your sister back. Of reconciliation in case it was done against you or against the community. You have to make the first attempt. Don't wait. Because sometimes then it may become clearer to him. And as you go to discuss it with him, Jesus said, go and talk it over with him, you two of you, face to face, just in private. He did not say, go and confront him. Confrontation is not always a good thing. It's not about confrontation. It is about a reconciliation. It is about rebuilding. And it takes patience and discipline. But above all, love. Paul tells us, don't owe anybody anything except love. This discussion, this talking over, must be dictated by nothing apart from the good will of the of making the other person better. The goodwill to make the other person better. It's not just about righting a wrong. 
Because I keep telling you that a wrong that has been done can no longer be undone. An action once computed will never be incomplete again, can never be reversed. Abana Mada is Ray Higu Meche Wochite. It is a second action. Now it will never cancel the fact. No, Zri. Only God can cancel our actions through forgiveness. It's not about just righting a wrong, but winning your brother back because what do you gain? Meche de Ligua Mogabogna. In a queen only. It is possible the person will not listen to you. Take one or two other persons as recommended by the law of Moses because the witness of two or three will be valid. Whom are you taking and why? If you are inviting people to mediate and those people whom you are inviting to mediate are interested parties, people who have to gain from your quarrel or from your difficulty, don't expect any reconciliation. They won't be honest. <laughs> 